I can tell you right now, everyone is, goes to the gym in January and it's packed. And what happens is they're all fired up. They're going to go run the marathon. They're going to be the biggest person they're ever going to be. And then they miss a day. And then the next week happens, they miss two days. And next thing you know, it comes February, they miss three days. And next thing you know, they're getting a five stack of pancakes at IHOP. And I'm telling you, I've been there. I have been there myself and we drift. And so what happens is I think seminars for our business side of things and webinars and, 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 and continuing education, those things keep us focused on our end goal of, of generating business. It's hard to be self-employed right now, right? It's just in general, it's a hard thing to do. You don't have a boss. You don't have somebody telling you what to do. You're your own boss, right? Right? That's why you got into the business. What I can tell you right now is you have to have something along the way to keep you focused. And what I found is being around people in a seminar that are realtors, uh, that are business people, that have the same struggles I have, I can talk with them. We can collaborate. We can actually talk about our, our successes and our fails. And what it does is it, it re I show shocks your body into, hey, I gotta stay focused. That's why I'm here. And so I think what we, we, what we find is if you don't do these actionable items on a monthly basis, whether it be a seminar, whether it be a webinar, whether it be a conference, something to train your brain within your profession, you're going to drift. The statistics are out there, you're going to drift. And so this is my method of staying accountable and staying focused and surrounding yourself with peers which you can learn from and grow from and even have a spark a little competitiveness in yourself. Guys, let me tell you something. It's really easy to find other realtors. It's that simple. I want to start a small group. I'm going to set it. Here's the agenda and you create your own, number one. So there's no excuses. Number two, there's several free ones that you should get a group of your friends, realtors, colleagues to go to and say, hey, I heard about this great free event. We should go to it. Here's why I wanna go to it and get a group within your office, number two. The third thing is there's several meetups, guys. Even outside of your business, there's several meetups that are about business, that are oriented, that actually have good tips and tricks. Further, don't think you always have to travel to go to a webinar. What you could do is say, you know what? I'm gonna take two hours out of the day today I'm gonna to go to this webinar that was been planned for a couple of weeks, and I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna write my takeaways, and you can do this as at home at night instead of watching TV. I know a lot of you guys watch TV, so this is maybe a replacement one of those nights that you can actually do it. And then obviously there are paid events all over the nation that are specific, that cost money. And if you find value in those and you have a budget for it, there's another method there. So you really have no excuse whether you have no income or you have a lot of income to make sure you're staying accountable on a monthly and quarterly basis to go to conferences, to go to seminars, to train your brain, to put good education in, to help you stay focused on your goals. Um, there's really no excuse.